distributivity of multiplication or addition of rational numbers don't get don't get scared by this long heading it's very simple it says that if you have three rational numbers a b and c right then a times b plus c is equal to a times b plus a times c that is whether you first add b plus c then whatever result comes from b plus c whatever result comes you multiply this result with a right whether you perform this one or you simply like a is attacking with first on b that is a times b then a is attacking with its multiplication sign on c so this plus sign comes here right this plus sign here a times b then a times c this will be equal and that is what distributivity of multiplication or addition of rational numbers is okay now it's not only true for rational numbers it's actually true for whether it is uh, integer or it is a whole number and we have already discussed uh, this thing when we were learning about whole numbers and integers so if i have to show you for a whole number let's say that a is equal to uh, 6 b is equal to 7 and c is equal to let's say 9 okay from this one a times b plus c you get a is what 6 times b plus c is what 7 plus 9 so you get 6 times 16 and this gives you 96 right now perform a times b plus a times c this will be 6 times 7 plus 6 times 9 42 plus 54 if you add it you get 96 so clearly we are getting the same result so the point is that distributivity is not only of multiplication or addition is not only true for rational numbers but for integers but for and for whole numbers as well now let's take some examples for rational numbers because we are discussing about rational numbers okay let's say our a is 4 over 3 b is 7 over 9 and c is 8 over 3 okay this is our number first let's perform a times b plus c so what's a a is 4 over 3 multiplied by what's b b is 7 over 9 plus 8 over 3 is a c if you solve it you get 4 times 3 times now we have to add 7 or 9 and 8 or 3 the first step is always you take the lcm so the lcm of 9 and 3 will be 9 lcm will be 9 so here the denominator is already 9 so simply write it 9 and this will be 7 plus Here, if you want the denominator as nine, then write nine. Now, nine divided by three, the quotient will be three, so this becomes eight times three. This gives you four over three times seven over nine plus twenty-four over nine. Now, if you add it, this is four over three times. This is if you add this to get the same denominator, so nine. Seven plus twenty-four. You get four over three times thirty-one over nine. This becomes four times thirty-one divided by three times nine. You get four one twenty-four over twenty-seven. Okay. Now let's solve for this one. What's a? A is four over three. 
What's B? B is 7.09 plus what's A? A is 4.03. What's C? C is 8.03. If you solve it, 4 times 7 is 28. 9 times 3 is 27. Plus 4 times 8 is 32. 3 times 3 is 9. Right? Now we have to add 28 or 27 and 32 or 9. The first step will, since the denominators are different, so the first step will always be to take the LCM. LCM of 27 and 9 will be 27. Okay. So if we want here the denominator is 27, which it already is, so simply write 28 here plus if you want its denominator as 27, write 27 here. Divide 27 by 9, we get 3 as a quotient. So this becomes 32 times 3. This is 28 over 27 plus 32 times 3 is 6 and 96 over 27. Now this becomes 27 then 28 plus 26, you get, sorry, this is 96, not 26, I'm sorry. So you get 124 or 27. That is the same result, whether you do this one or this one. This is what distributivity of multiplication or addition of rational numbers. It is true for rational numbers, it is true for whole numbers, it is true for any integer. In the next video, I am going to discuss about distributivity of multiplication or subtraction of rational numbers. See you in the next video.